He kind of just got to go. Oh. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh. Wow, there's so many cacti. What the sh... Oh. oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Welcome back to day three in Sedona. Don't mind me. Just walking around town in my uh, sweatpants. <laughs> like I belong here. I thought we were going to do Highline, but we're actually going to go ride something I've never ridden before. And you always see at the top of Highline. It's called Precept. <laughs> this is my sleeping situation at the moment. Not only do I have the comforter, I got a new wool. Very comfy blanket at REI the other night on sale. And then I have this giant sleeping bag I picked up last year that is just awesome. It's a Nemo zero degree bag. I've never had a zero degree bag, so it's zero degree down. And oh my gosh, it's so comfy. It's pretty cold. It gets into the 20s at night here. But during the day when the sun comes out, man, it's awesome. It's like perfect. I will be wearing no jacket today, short sleeves. New trail day. New trail day, baby. Stoked. Getting started on the climb up the high line, which is a pretty techy one. All right, first test of the day. Gonna see how the legs are faring. Oh! These climbs here require, the, you, you can't kind of like dilly dally on the climbs in Sedona. You really kind of just need to give max effort. <laughs> you need to stand up on the pedals, lay the power down, or else most of the time you're just not making it. And here's the turnoff for the high line climb. All right, Ty, what do you think the uh, percent chances that we get this entire climb without dabbing or falling? Zero. He said zero. Ty was pretty damn close to carrying it yesterday, two years ago. Yeah? yeah I mean, I believe that was his second ride, and this is his fourth now in a row, though. Pretty big difference. My knees and elbows are feeling it. Very physical riding out here. This is a cool spot. What is this? Oh, this is hurting so badly. No! Oh, there's like a whole, screw that. Whole another section. Yeah, Ty. Oh God, I'm not on the line. Go wide here. This is tough right here. Wow. Ty, good job, bro. Oh my goodness, that was so hard. Oh gosh, these rocks are just kind of forcing me to the right, fighting to stay high. Whew, not go off the side here. Whoa, tight! Oh! That was tight. Ooh, what is this? That's another weird one. Ugh. What do you do right here? I don't think I did what you do, but I made it. Ooh. This is great. Real nice, real fun technical riding. I like it. I think it's been about two years since I've ridden here on this trail. And uh, I was, it was a personal vacay. I didn't do any filming. I was here with these guys actually. And I just decided I was gonna have a me ride, a me vacation. We did like six days 
didn't film a thing. So it's cool to come out here and film now because these are such fun trails. Such an incredible riding destination. Love sharing it. What a view over here. It's like half the battle is not looking to your right at the view and having it take you to the right off the cliff because I want to be looking over here really badly. Whoa, what is this? Yeah, Ty. Not too bad. Who knew climbs could be so fun? I think it's a testament to the uh, trail builders out here. Oh wow, Ty. Wow, that was so hard. I think the hardest thing about it, if you mess the spot up here is, so you take your feet off the pedal to put a foot down and your pedals drop. And then your pedals at the bottom. And there's just so many rocks sticking out that it's really hard to get back on without having a, something grab your pedal while you're doing so. These, these climbs are such a great test of your bike balance and kind of gear management. Ooh, another very important skill for up here, ratcheting to avoid those pedal catchers. All right, that climb, I, I like that climb. It's a good length, not too bad, challenging, but not completely draining. What up, BKFC? I love your channel. All right, I totally misunderstood. I thought I thought we didn't have to do this high line drop in, but we do. This is like this really tricky drop in over here. I'm like 50 50 on this drop in in the history of things. Ty made it easy. Got it. Emily giving it a go. She did it last time when I wasn't here. Yeah, Em. There it is. Yo. How did they get lined up for it so well? Were they like all the way out here? I can't possibly coach you through this. I feel like it just can't help. Oh, okay. You kind of just got to go. Oh. <laughs> oh. You kind of just got to commit. I got got. I don't even know what by. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, good sh on that drop in. I almost went. I almost went. That was quite the recovery. I was, the bike was like connected to my ankle. It was. I and it was pulling me off. Tangled up in it. That yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to lead out and ride this one blind since it's my first time riding it. <laughs> Over the cacti, dodging them. Whoa! That you could you could end up going off there easily. Uh oh, we got a tricky spot. Ah! That was tough. Yeah, a few of these like tricky inside moves. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's a good amount of exposure. Trail is pretty narrow. Pretty good exposure to the right. And uh, kind of some spots where I might think I was going a different way than the trail is going to go, and that way leads you off the cliff. So I'm going to be careful here, not going to go too fast, which obviously I never re recommend doing first time down a trail. That, that just ain't smart. Especially when the consequences are high, like this. Ooh. Oh, this section looks great. This looks crazy up here. All right. We're gonna have to just power up this. <laughs> One dab. One dab. Some tricky spots in there. <laughs> Those were. He's like, this trail requires a lot of focus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was not easy. What's this one rated? Probably a black, I'd, if I had to guess. I don't know why this one's not 
like marked red. What is it marked? It's, it's a black. It is black. black. Okay. Black. Yeah, but it's Maybe no less it exposed than hard <laughs> highline or whatever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> is is Highline marked black? Uh, red? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Could be. Yeah. Ooh, hell yeah. Where are we going now? Back up. Cool. Really good photo spots. <laughs> We've been seeing a lot of influencers in the wild out here in Sedona. Some of them are fine, but some are like way off trail thinking it's okay just because they need the shot for their Instagram and there's like clear signs and they just completely ignore them and that is not cool you don't get a pass for your insta stories sorry oh where am I going where am I going through here and then back up here wow I'm gonna film these guys doing that move. That is cool. Nice, nice. That's a tough climb right here around. Okay. Wow. That was hard. Oh, it looks like it just keeps going. I see Ty ahead of us up higher this will be the second trail on this trip that i hadn't ever done before in sedona i'm going for it everything you see is yours everything the light touches is your land more please Oh, cool. Ah! Got the drop, don't go inside. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I got that. Ooh, that was a little scary. I kind of thought I was gonna compress my fork and go over there. I guess this is the line. Oh my goodness. Dude, this trail is hard. Just passed some hikers and they said it's plenty more interesting up here. They said, we don't ride this anymore. Holy shh. I'm gonna have to get Ty on the follow cam so you guys can kind of have a better idea of how tough some of these moves are. All right, Ty, don't lead us astray. <laughs> or at least do your best. I've already led myself astray. I almost went OTB back there. Not knowing a trail adds a whole other element of danger. I really, I should have mic'd tie up today, but yeah, it would have been entertaining. Oh my. That was cool. I want to, I want to see if M gets it. Yeah, dude! You were so focused, Em. <laughs> Ooh, downhill, let's go. Wow, there's so many cacti, what the sh- We've been noting the cacti are just so much healthier over here for some reason. Like these are ones you do not want to fall into. I mean, you don't want to fall into any, but they are bountiful and healthy here. Many spikes. Ooh, what is this? Ha, ha, ha. Ty's an actual goat. Oh god. Oh. Even if you make that, you get all this. I think I fell here. Wow. I, I kind of want to try this. And there were some spots that were like hallways of cacti. Dude, seriously, oh, that's. Wild. I was saying the same thing. All right, this is a pretty stout climb you've got it's got like three or four difficult pitches 
with turns in them, which make it just so much harder. Let's see if I can do this. I'd be pretty stoked. I think I just got to kind of commit to staying on the gas. This one is where I fell last time because you kind of got to turn uphill. And then this is just kind of nutty. Oh God, oh God. I'm okay. Oh, I can't get up though. <laughs> am I on a cactus? I don't feel like I am. Nothing to see here. <laughs> I got so lucky there's not a cactus. There's one right there. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Not even. <laughs> I have it on film, so, and obviously I have to try it again now. <laughs> it's okay, you can go by. You don't need to be the people. You don't have to be the people that call the ambulance. I don't. I won't do that to you. All right. Well, <laughs> that was the most comical fall I've had in a while. That was funny. Fell on my hand, got my wrist for sure, but no cacti. Lucky duck. I just needed to like really power through. Ah, oh, nope. Ooh, my finger. I might have got my finger pretty good. Like cut or jammed it. I don't know. No blood. No. Your face was right beside the cactus. <laughs> really Ooh. Ow. All right. Well. Tally ho. Tally ho. That that climb got me. Well, luckily the cacti didn't. I got my ring finger pretty good on my left hand though. It's hurting to hold my bar with. Thinking I'll figure it about it pretty soon here. <laughs> That was so awkward. Of course there's hikers right there watching too. God, so hard. Ha! Ow, my finger hurts really bad. Just the tip. Charles, kicking my booty. This is insane. This is, Hairy as heck. Oh, Ty, this is brutal. Bro, what is this? It just goes on and on. I'm pretty convinced we're supposed to be going the other way. Whoa, what is that? Okay, sweet. Good timing to stop. Oh, wait. Come on, come on up there. Yeah, yeah, you guys come up. Unless you want to block that cliff for us. You guys. I think once we get in it, it rolls nicely. Yeah. Yeah, bud. Right. How are you feeling about it, Em? Yeah, I feel good. Cool. If you can picture yourself doing it, uh, I can. Then you are generally good. There is a next bit, Em. Hell yeah, that was cool. Looks like we actually get some downhill here. Do. Yeah! I forgot about the finger <laughs> until just now. I am quite sure it's broken. It feels pretty intense when pushing on it. Yeah! 
Whoa, back end just got thrashed around. I was beginning to fear that all we were gonna do is climb. Alas, we do have to go down. Where do we go, where do we go? Is it right here? Yes. Whoa, oh, I thought we were going up that climb over there. Nope, up this one. <gasps> Did you go up that rock? You're an animal. Pretty cool downhill right here. Steep. That was gnarly. Ugh. Hell yeah. The payoff, baby. I broke my finger for this. Yeah, keep going that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, buddy. All right. This is turning out great. Hmm, I see a bonus line. <laughs> Maybe not the best thing to do with my finger feeling how it is. That hurt really bad, actually. <sighs> yeah, buddy. That was awkward. Oh, thanks. Oh, some flow. What do you know? We're getting down here. I want more of what we what what that was. That was great. Hey guys. We got I got two more guys behind me. Oh, wow, that was it. Holy moly. Just like that. My finger is killing. Pretty cool. That was cool. That was awesome. That creek was weird. I can't. Yeah. Well, hey, that was a really fun ride. Another one that I haven't done before that's definitely gonna be added to the repertoire here visiting Sedona. That one in Canyon of Fools or whatever I think it's called Canyon of Fools, Fool something. Uh, definitely, if you guys. If all you've ever done is come to Sedona and do the H's, check out check out Precept and uh, Canyon of Fools. Those were really, really fun rides. Some very challenging stuff in there. I think that that's where my day is going to end personally because honestly, my finger's hurting quite bad. Bad enough that I think I'm going to go get an x-ray because I'm pretty sure it's broken. Uh, just so I know. The not knowing part annoys me the most. So if I know, I'll know to, I'll get a splint on there and you know, if I needed to do anything else, I can just get started on it. But uh, I don't think it's worth going and riding another, putting a whole another ride's worth of pressure on it today. I think that'd be, I don't know, foolish, not necessary. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, are enjoying, actively enjoying these Sedona rides, this Sedona trip, man. I'm just so thankful to be out here riding after feeling like I missed the entire summer worth of riding. And I just, I'm so grateful to be getting to kind of be making up for it like having this wonderful weather out here having friends that we're out coming out on vacation to ride with like this is just sick I'm loving it and uh, there will be more to come maybe not in Sedona depending on how this x-ray goes but I don't know we'll see we were hoping to do another ride tomorrow anyway hope you guys enjoyed this ride 
If you've ridden this trail, let me know in the comments. I'm kind of curious and tell me which way you went. I, I'll be curious next time we visit to try to go the opposite way and see how it is. But anyway, I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Thanks again for watching and being stoked on the channel, stoked on the rides. I couldn't do this all without you. So yeah, I will see you guys again very, very soon for another video. And until then, you know what to do, baby. Live free, ride hard, and get stoked.